Hello, my name is Krishna Swami Raghavan, and I am a senior research fellow in the division of pharmaceutical development at Bristol Myers Squibb. The topic of my presentation is excipient compatibility studies. Understanding potential drug excipient incompatibility issues, especially chemical incompatibilities, which is the focus of this presentation, is one of the important elements of developing a robust solid dosage form. Here is the outline and learning objective of the presentation. Discuss briefly on why stability matters, what are the factors affecting drug product stability, what is the role of excipients in drug products, with specific emphasis on how they impact stability either directly or through reactive impurities present in them. We will then explore the importance of understanding the source and variability of these reactive impurities to assess their impact on robustness of the products. We will then look at a few illustrative examples of drug excipient incompatibilities followed by a discussion on how to conduct drug excipient compatibility studies. Finally, discuss how we can assess the risk of drug excipient incompatibility and the mitigation strategies we can adopt with a few illustrative examples. And finish up with concluding remarks. So, why stability matters? This is because stability of the active pharmaceutical ingredient is one of the major criteria in the rational design of a dosage form. Several forms of instability can lead to the rejection of a drug product. These could be physical or chemical. Chemical degradation of the active drug could lead to a substantial loss of potency. This will be a significant issue for all dosage forms but especially so for drugs with narrow therapeutic index. Physical stability can lead to a decrease in dissolution rate and bioavailability. For example, crystallization of the API in a dosage form made using amorphous spray dry dispersion can lead to this. Substantial changes in the physical appearance of the dosage form could be another issue. For example, caking of suspensions, Modeling of tablets could lead to product rejection. Toxic products may be formed in the degradation process. An example is the conversion of gabapentin to its lactam, which is very toxic. Finally, there are regulatory requirements that need to be fulfilled before a drug product is approved by health agencies. The FDA and ICH have published guidelines for conducting stability studies and reporting data. The first step to assess potential drug product stability issues is to look at the structure, identify soft spots, and then potential degradants. 